Hi, my name is John. I'm going to show you how to do an O3 UV treatment for an animal up to 20 pounds or so. Uh, so before we begin that, I want to show you what equipment you'll need. Uh, this is just a basic infusion pump. You may already have one in your clinic. If not, we offer that. Um, this is our biophotonic device. It's the uh, Chimp UV. Um, so you'll need one of those. You will also need an ozone generator, a medical ozone generator. Um, we have one available as well. It's not here on display at this moment. Um, so let's go ahead and look at what uh, supplies we'll need. We'll need a six inch chimp UV quartz cuvette. You will need a little bit of saline. Uh, this is 0.9% sodium chloride. It's helpful to have a plastic hemostat. A butterfly needle, um, 23, maybe 25 gauge, to draw blood from the patient. Also need a, just a hypodermic needle. This is an 18 gauge. And then you may or may not require um, anticoagulant. Um, with this amount of blood, it, probably not necessary. Uh, you'll also need a syringe. This is a little bit of overkill. Um, you can have a smaller syringe and that will do the job. Um, but nonetheless, you'll need a, a syringe. Um, so those are the basic supplies that you're going to, to need. Now let's talk about the dosage. Um, we're going to be treating an animal that's 15 pounds, a 15 pound cat today. Um, so we're going to need to draw between 1.5 and 3 cc's of, of blood total. And we're going to mix that um, with about 17 cc's of saline. So the total volume of fluid that we're going to be treating will be about 20 cc's, which is what this cuvette will hold. So the Chimp UV cuvette holds about 20 cc's worth of fluid. That's important to keep in mind. We'll start today by taking our syringe, um, which already has a little bit of ozone. It's got, I've got three cc's of 20 micrograms per milliliter ozone. Uh, some of you may choose to have a higher concentration of ozone. That's totally up to you. Um, let's say 40 or 50 micrograms per milliliter are common as well. So we've already got that in our syringe. Um, what I'm going to do at this point is go ahead and connect my hypodermic needle. And I'm not going to use any anticoagulant with this small amount of blood that we're going to be drawing. You can, if you choose to do that, you can preload the syringe with a little bit of that anticoagulant. Uh, so I will just go ahead and insert the needle into the uh, saline bag and draw up what we need. I'm going to draw up about, as I mentioned, 17 milliliters worth of saline. There we go. I can set that off to the side. Now I've got my saline, I've got my ozone, and if required, I've got my anticoagulant. I can take my needle off. This is the syringe I'm going to use then to draw in the 1.5 to 3 cc's of blood. Again, you want about 10 to 20 percent of your total volume of solution to be blood. So we've got um, 17 cc's of saline. We're going to try to add 3 cc's of blood to that. So let's go ahead and take our butterfly needle and our syringe and go over to the patient okay. and draw the blood. So we've got our blood and our saline and our ozone mixed together in this syringe here. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and set that aside just for the time being. And I am going to connect, actually insert my cuvette into the machine. Uh, acts as an extra set of hands for me. I will remove the cap from the cuvette and connect that to the syringe. And then I can begin to fill 
this cuvette with, with fluid. And I will mention you do want the cuvette pointing up as you fill it so that there's no air bubbles that are trapped in this uh, area here where the turbulator is that spins and mixes the blood. So I'll go ahead and fill this up. I need to fill the entire cuvette. Now once I've done that, I'm going to clamp off on the line. Okay. And at that point, I can actually remove my syringe without spilling a drop and then connect my syringe to itself. See? Very easy, simple way to do things. So I've got this uh, cuvette. It's filled with uh, our solution. I'm going to go ahead and insert it into the uh, infusion pump here. There we go. I'll shut the door. We've got our... Okay, we're all set. Now what we need to make sure is that our, our pump is set correctly. So I've already actually done that. We're set for um, 20 milliliters worth of fluid at uh, 360 milliliters per hour, um, which is the proper flow rate. So that's all ready to go. Just hit start. And that begins to pump that mixture around the cuvette. Once that's done, which it's only about a four minute process, I can remove that and then we'll be ready to um, infuse that back to the patient. Okay, well our treatment is done. Um, it's been fully processed, so I'm gonna shut our machine down. I'm gonna go ahead and open our infusion pump door. We can remove our cuvette from the machine. I'm going to go ahead and clamp off again here on the uh, tubing. I'm going to simply connect my uh, syringe back to that. Then remove the uh, cramp, clamp and begin to withdraw that blood from the cuvette and back into my syringe. Once I've been able to do that and withdraw the, the blood, connect the cuvette back to itself and dispose of the blood products there. Um, and then I've got my solution here that's been treated by ozone and ultraviolet light. I can actually connect my butterfly needle back to the syringe and reinfuse it into the patient and that's it. Uh, that's your O3 UV treatment for uh, an animal that's 20 pounds or less.